Okay, this is exercise 3.5, creating local accounts. Due to some technical issues that I've seen logging or creating an account with Microsoft Office, I am skipping exercise 3.3, managing Office 365, and exercise 3.4, managing Office 365 users. So we're going to jump into creating local accounts, and this is located on supporting Windows 8.1 Lab Manual, part of the <clears throat> exam preparation for 70-688, part of the Microsoft Official Academic Course. So we're going to get started by logging into Windows 8. Point, I'm sorry, Windows 8A, which I already have logged in as Contoso slash Administrator. And this exercise, we're going to create a user account using the charms bar, followed by creating a user account with computer management. As an administrator, you need to know how to manage local user accounts using a PC settings and computer management. The approximate time for this exercise is about 10 minutes. So on the Windows 8A, we're going to point our cursor to the top right corner of the screen to make the charms bar appear. Okay, so there's going to be a way, another way to do this, so let's try it this way. We want to go into okay, change PC settings. So if I do search, PC settings. Okay, so now here we're going to This is a little bit challenging being on a virtual machine, but let's try this again. Okay. I want to go into accounts or other accounts. Counts. Oops. I'm going to change PC settings.
settings. Change PC settings. Let's try this again. Okay. I want to click on add account. And username is going to be local user2. I'm going to continue to use the password we've been using. Next. And finish. I do want to edit this. I'm going to remove it, delete account and data. We're going to do this with another, another way. So I'm going to right click, go into computer management. Here we have local users and groups. And we're going to right click under users, expand this, right click, new user. This first one is going to be local user one. Password. Uncheck this. Cannot change. Password never expires. And then we're going to click on create. Much easier. Now let's go ahead and do local user 2. and then create and then close. So now we have local user one and local user two. And properties, just make sure that everything's correct. Now we've clicked on the user's container, and um, if you're following along and you require, you are actually, if you're one of my students, and if you're following along the lab manual, this would be where you would create your next and last screen, your, your screenshot for this lab. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and click on close. And answer the question number 10, you have managed users using PC settings. From the terms bar and using the computer management, what is the third method you can use to configure local users? And that is the end of this exercise and the end of this lab.